finally made it. It's uh, been a couple years in the making. Here we are in Paris, British Columbia, my personal favorite place on earth. We're on the Skeena River with Nicholas Dean Lodge. I've got my best friend Andrew Charlton, my second best friend Colby, my pup, and fishing's been unreal lately, and uh, we're pretty excited to be here. We're really excited to be here. but they will see how we do. Barb on your hook. In the Skeena, water clarity can be anywhere from six inches up to five feet. The ideal for me is if it's, you know, 20 inches, 30 inches, and I'm happy to fish. Like, I don't like to fish super fast water because then you end up snagging fish, but these kind of spots, this is where the fish will get pushed against shores and concentrated as opposed to the more slower open water. So it gives you a better chance of concentrating them and catching more of them. This is why we fish these kind of spots. Skeena River with Nicholas Dean Lodge, going after some huge steelhead. There you go. All right. That is a fish and a half. Seriously, that's a good fish, man. Hook out. Woo. A happy girl right now. We're gonna let him go. favorite run on this whole river. It's full of fish. Swing's perfect. Scenery's good. Scenery's really good. <laughs> Thanks. I just know we're gonna get one in here.
that's what he said. This is what a steelhead is supposed to look like. You can see every scale on her. She's perfect. What do you say, Colby? What do you say? Should we let it go? Yeah. Yeah. Nice fish. Steelhead and steelhead fishing, it's one of those things where not everybody gets us. Not everybody gets us as steelhead anglers because they think that we're crazy, we stand out in the cold weather, the wind blows hard, the rain pours fast, you know, the fishing, sometimes you'll go weeks, months, even years without touching a fish. And a lot of people think that we're losing our minds. And they're probably half right, but we're at least we're, we're happy losing our minds. I personally have been steelhead fishing for long enough now to know that I have spent far more days fishing and not hooking fish than fishing and hooking fish. So excited right now. A tip for all you viewers out no. of this river is famous for getting steelhead on a dry fly <laughs> and I have never caught, never successfully landed a steelhead on a dry fly. Cast out, wait okay. across the surface and uh, see what happens. Oh, Cast out there as far as you can. I love steelheading because it reminds me of when I first truly had the passion for fly fishing. It's really hard to put into words. I just love everything about it. I love everything about it. I love the iced over boots in the morning. Um, I love the spay fishing. I love the big flies. I love trying to figure out whether to fish a big fly or to fish something smaller. I love the pull, I love the jumps, I love the runs, I love the disappointment I get when I lose one. I love having to read the water. That's one of my favorite things, definitely having to read the water. I just love everything about it. I love British Columbia. This is the place. Where other place than to get the best steel hunt on earth? And right here.
steelhead fishing is steelhead fishing. Some days you feel like you're the king of the world, and other days you feel like you're a bit of a loser, but today has been a good day. The sun shines bright as it moves across my face. I feel the light and everything is in its place. I woke up feeling great. Today was made for me. And life is good the way it should, the way it was meant to be. Oh. And it's a beautiful day. This is why you walk out to the rocks behind you. That's impressive. The wind is blowing, the bells are ringing, children playing in the park while birds are singing. <laughs> so the first run we get to, I'm casting away and right in the tail out, get a fish. Here we go, fish on. Woo. Yeah! And I look over and Dustin's got a fish. Double header. <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> this is like the best day of my life. I wanted to yeah, double like that up and it worked. Double header. Oh, I've, never se I've never seen that before. <laughs> they got a double header today, which was incredible. I have never seen that before. So exciting. Andrea was shaking after. Even Dustin, who doesn't really get that unnerved, he was shaking after too. So that was pretty cool. That little guy go.
Beautiful steelhead right here. A little trouble landing it, but we ended up getting it. I've never seen anything like this before. I mean, this fishery is supposed to be tricky and it's supposed to be, you know, get a fish a day and be very happy. And I don't know what's happening, but there's fish everywhere and it's incredible and it's exciting. And all of us are high-fiving and there's a lot of laughing going on over here today. I went out today hoping desperately to get a steelhead on the dry fly. So Dustin brings us to this spot. Fish are rising, fish are rolling. There's mayflies hatching. My heart starts going crazy. I get so, so excited. Can't cast, can't, I don't have any accuracy. Um, my head is just not on straight. So Dustin's walking me through it. Finally, a fish comes up, takes my fly. It's on. I'm excited and I can't get my line on my reel, so I'm, I'm doing the whole hand line thing and just, I guess my tension must have been off because leader material does not lie and my tippet was broken, my fish was gone, I busted it off, so. Andrea goes through the run after me. Oh, 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 <laughs> And as a beautiful, a beautiful oh, fish, oh. take her fly and, uh, and, and misses. And I almost jump out of my waders. I'm so, so excited that she gets one. But then she casts again, and the fish takes her fly. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That was awesome. Oh, and I get really excited for a second, and then the craziest feeling happens. It's like the most proud feeling and a happy feeling. Mixed with the most awful jealousy I have ever had. It was awful. Later. I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Give it a second to let it sink in. Steelhead fishing starts here in late July, early August, and it remains good until the middle of May. There's everything from little tiny coastal creeks where you can catch big steelhead, the big broad skeena. The conditions aren't always right, but when they are, it is the coolest steelhead fishing. And this is Hague Brown fishing. Okay, this fly has rows and hooked, I think, seven steelhead now on the surface, and it's landed, I think, six. It's been steelheaded. 
but we'll see if we can catch one more with it. Just cast after cast after cast, fish after fish. After. Oh, it's not even right! Oh! <laughs> I still cannot believe that I got a fish on a dry fly. A steelhead on a dry fly. Oh yeah, beauty. Oh my God, it, I was absolutely shaking. It was just amazing. I shoot out this cast. It didn't look very pretty. It didn't. But uh, he said, okay, let out a little more line. And then it was swinging nicely, and boom, there's a fish. And then I look over, and Dustin's got a fish on. Another double header. It was a bit of deja vu from a couple days ago. Yeah. Dustin landed mine while he had another one in his hand, which is pretty amazing. I also want to say that we've got the absolute best guide, hands down, in this area ever. Actually, best guide in BC, probably. <laughs> <laughs> His name's Dustin. <laughs> oh, thanks. Not only can he put you into fish, he can make you laugh. Sure. TV viewers, you can't always expect steelhead fishing to be like this. You have days and days of savage punishment with absolutely nothing, 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 nothing. Well, it was awesome. Let's see if we 
go catch some more, not that we really need to. <laughs> Oh, there's one. A phenomenal day, and we got some on the wet. We got a double header. That was the most amazing experience. I am still shaking. I couldn't think of having a better day. I think we went 10 or 11 for 17. Definitely a, a great way to end the trip. Yellow Cedar Lodge itself is gorgeous. I mean, our room's real nice and cozy. The best part, the food. The food is amazing. 